Darren, the boys left it late, but got it over line in the end. You must be delighted with that one. It's pleasing on a couple of accounts because obviously I thought we was uh, very good in the first half. Um, probably with JT's chance after he'd scored, instead of squaring it, I, I, you know he's got enough quality about him to smash that in the goal and make it two nil. Um, at two nil, I, f- I would have been obviously more com- confident and comfortable with with our half's work, um, and then we allow him to get back in with a with a. You know, from our point, it's a it's a cheap free kick to give away, but you know, Danny Rowe's got that capability, um, and he just hits it so hard. It's it's past Lochi before he can get down on it, um, and then we score from a set piece, which is a which is a rarity for us. And you know, I've got all my six footers in the treatment room, and then uh, and then we end up scoring from a set piece. But a great ball in Sparks. He's got as as he's proven, he's got a wonderful left foot. Puts, uh, I thought our quality from set pieces was okay today. We mm. kept putting it in between the posts and in dangerous areas, but not getting on the end of it. But then, you know, the one that counts right at the death is a great header, great ball in, and I think uh, a, a win was a fair result for us today. I mean, we can tell how happy you were just from <laughs> scoring from the set piece from your celebration alone. That was pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I don't think I ever celebrated that much on the play. <laughs> um, no, it was just nice because, you know, Contrary to what people believe, we, we, we work a lot on set pieces for and against. Um, obviously, being a set piece taker myself, it, it's something that you know I used to pride myself on when I played. So it's something that we work on, and it's just frustration, frustrating that we don't get uh, we don't get enough goals from set pieces. Um, but we have today, and it's it's proven important and, and give us the victory that I felt we deserved. What about the overall performance of Jack Taylor out there today? Because obviously he's, he's scored a brilliant goal and to perform the way he did in, in front of the BT cameras it's not an easy task it is for Jack Jack's a Jack's a special player um, I think he's just growing in confidence I think he's he recognises how important he is to the team and he's embracing that importance um, got to have a special mention for his brother today as well uh, dropped in right side of a three and I'm actually going to put him in goal one week and see how he gets on. I'm sure he'd do well because he's just he's incredible, Harry. But yeah, the, the, the plaudits will go to Jack because he's he's getting goals regular now. He's impacting the game, and someone with his ability should constantly have an effect on the outcome of a football match. We know how tight this group are at the moment. Just how important is it to keep the confidence levels where they are right now, especially after wins after Ebbsfleet and tonight, obviously, to keep those levels where they are. Winning football matches does that. You know, I can. I can tell them how good they are and make them feel good about themselves. But, you know, once you cross that white line, um, we all thrive on victories. Um, so to have, you know, what with the Chorley game as well, we've, we've had three games here now that we've won. Um, and, and, and I feel deserved to have won all three of them. And, you know, that will breed confidence. And as I keep stating, even when we was on the back foot a little bit with a couple of iffy results, we, we, we're constantly just going to keep striving for a bit of consistency that will hopefully see us rise up the table.